Hey humans, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a very exciting video. We are doing my first long form journaling spread, which happens to be October. I'm going to run through the whole process of how I create my journal spreads for each month, guiding you through from the planning stage to completion. And I'm also going to share a weekly spread at the end as well. My journal isn't a typical bullet journal, but it is a kind of more mindfulness gratitude daily kind of like diary type journal so instead of doing a kind of monthly spread that has the kind of like word of the month on so for example October September March April whatever it instead has a quote that resonates for me that month and then also a little design that goes along with the quote too my weekly spread kind of stays the same for every single week besides formatting so it's a really nice and easy journal system and i find it way better for me than using a traditional bullet journal which has so many different types of spreads but without further ado let's get into it so to start off my monthly quote page, I always go through Pinterest and grab some photos for inspiration. This particular photo of a frog is very kind of heavily copied almost from this very, very talented Pinterest artist. So I have to give credit where credit is due because the design was so beautiful. I was just like, yes, that's absolutely perfect for what I need. I use Procreate to plan all of my journaling. So as you can see, I did the double page spread. I added some willow tree branches because I kind of thought it made it more pond-like. And and then I obviously added in the text in the center, which was the quote for this month. This month, the quote was, good things come to those who wait. It's a very relevant quote to me at the moment because as you probably know, if you have been following along, I have just graduated university and I am currently in the process of applying to different grad jobs. So I thought it would be a good reminder to kind of not worry too much about the outcome of all these applications I've been doing, but instead just being happy to kind of wait and be patient for all those people to get back to me. I always start off with a pencil outline for both the illustration and the font. I'm not talented enough to go straight in yet and I also just think it makes it a little bit neater when it kind of comes to the actual filling in the illustration. So I thought I'd also share with you the kind of pencil drawing side of things as well. To colour in the drawing, I mostly just used my Stabilo highlighters. I have the nature sets, the pastel sets, and then some kind of like, I think it's like the Cool Swing set or something. Um, but yeah, I kind of just have a range of highlighters. I love using those to colour in. Um, and then I also have these really, really old fashioned markers I used to have when I was younger. And I actually use those for kind of like the darker, kind of outlines and I also use those for the text. Honestly, I was really surprised that they were still working given they're probably 10 years old. Um, so those markers were very good markers. This month I was kind of inspired to change how I outlined. So for some of the illustration I used a kind of dark blue outline and obviously the text is blue as well. Typically I use a kind of black fine liner to outline things but I thought I would make it a little bit different this month. As you can see, this is the final result of the quote page. I really, really love it. It's slightly simple. The background is a little bit simple, but I really, really love the kind of like cartoony illustration vibe of it. And I think it will stand me in really good stead to remind me that out of all good things come to those who wait. Turning to my weekly spread, this is the start of October. So at the beginning of every month, I write out the full month, so I write October. Normally I just do oct, so the first like three letters of the word. Um, I pop some washi tape on, create a little calendar overview, highlight that week that I'm on, and then on that top left corner, I write my favorite memory for that week and then something I'm proud of for that week. Across my weekly spread, every single day, I write my three daily habits. So that's meditation, going for a walk, and filling out clue which is just like a health tracker every morning i fill out the i am excited box so i think of something i'm excited for that day to kind of fill me with energy in the morning and kind of make me more productive so 
So if I'm excited for a certain thing, I can kind of write that down and then it kind of just boosts me throughout the day. Then in the evening, I write what I'm grateful for and I really love focusing on gratitude because it actually makes you a happier person overall if you can kind of be grateful for everything that comes your way. I then write something I'm proud of because I'm definitely working on kind of being prouder of these small things that happen every day. And then finally, I just write a few words for that day, which is kind of a mini diary so I can remember what happened during that day. I had a spare box this week because the week started on a Tuesday instead of on a Monday. So I just filled out this little box with a small illustration that was kind of reminiscent of the previous page. that is all for my journaling spread. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of longer form content. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this new format and also if you do want any kind of ASMR thrown in there, if you like the kind of explanation on the side or if you would just rather watch the journaling spread with some music or if you enjoy the shorts as well. I love reading through your comments so do let me know. In the meantime you can watch my latest video here and subscribe to me here and I will see you in the next one. All the best and lots of love. Bye.